Welcome back to RetroTech. Today's episode is going to show you how to safely discharge your CRT monitor, arcade monitor, PVM, BVM, uh, any kind of CRT that holds charge under its anode cap in the tube. Now a lot of PVMs and BVMs have what's called self-discharging uh, tubes. That means that over time they'll slowly trickle out the electricity that's built up in them. But not everyone and you can't always rely on that actually happening so the best thing to do is just to discharge it yourself. In our last episode we covered how to make a discharge tool which is the one we're using today which is this and I'll show you how to hook that up to this PVM and use it but there's another tool that I'm going to show you today and I'll highlight this in another uh, episode talking specifically about tools uh, but this is a pair of high voltage gloves and they just look like red rubber gloves, which they are, but they are uh, specifically rated to withstand high voltage electricities. And so you can see you can put them on and, and actually I'm waiting for a leather pair to go over these to give you kind of a double protection. And uh, we're going to use these gloves while we do this discharge because again, these will just protect, give us a little bit more protection. So let's go ahead and hook up our discharge tool. One of the best places to hook your discharge uh, tool to the other end that's going to collect the electricity is a big point on here where you're grounded to your frame. And you can do any one of these points. I just like to take my screwdriver, loosen up one of these ground points. So we're going to hook up to this ground point where this ground loop is connected and we don't even have to unscrew it completely just enough to get our copper wire see I'm gonna loop my copper wire around that bolt there and I'm gonna tighten it back down with my screwdriver Now I've made a great place for the electricity to go and discharge itself. I'm going to use my left hand to dis discharge and while I'm discharging I'm only going to use this left hand. My right hand will be in my pocket. Okay? So once you get used to this you'll see it a lot but again here's the discharge tool. I'm going to use this tip and try to get under there and just tap it. I may hear something, I may not hear anything, but uh, most of the time with PVMs, I don't hear anything. I want to be extremely gentle not to damage the anode cap. According to the Sony manual, these anode caps should be pulled by hand. Uh, arcade monitors, they can just be flipped out using these, but I want to be very careful and um, not do that. So I'm just going to go under there and slip this and slide it under there a couple different ways. Again, making sure my cord's over here. My hand's in my pocket, and I'm just gonna kind of slip it and tap it. See how I'm just getting under there, and I'm just gonna touch that under there. And I don't hear any click or anything, which is fine. Again, I'm not trying to do anything that says just get in there and tap under there. So, there we go. It's been discharged, you didn't hear a click. But what I always like to do is wait about two or three minutes and come back and see if it builds up any more energy and then we'll click it again before we're done. Back and we'll just do the same thing we just did again, just one hand under there and we'll just tap it again and there we go. Tap it again with the point on there and that's it. So now we're safely discharged and we can work on this monitor and do anything we want to as far as if we wanted to take the whole thing apart and start doing a cap kit or um, replace any of the high voltage parts and um, just to fire it back up we'll just put it all back together plug it back in and start it right back up thank you for watching this episode of retro tech please like share and subscribe